I am Charlie's right hand, and in this video we will talk about... Gloves, and how to use them in running archery. Okay, let's start with this video! I'm very sorry for this, but also I just couldn't resist and couldn't help myself not do this. And yes, today we will be talking about gloves and why and how I use them in archery, what sort of type of gloves I use and why and how to, you know, make them ready for archery. I forgot to prepare a bow because I need to make a demonstration, right? So I'll string it in a second and we can start. And of course I will need an arrow to show you, right? Why I need gloves. First reason why I need gloves is that right now is almost the spring of 2021. So we had there in the middle of Europe in Czech Republic like five months of winter, rain, cold. So you need gloves because shooting with the freezed hands is nothing you would like. But why I need gloves? I use a Slavic release while I do my running archery shooting, which contains holding an arrow with my bow like this. And I take the arrow, put it on a string and shoot. While I release with these three fingers or whatever fingers you use, the string goes really hard on your skin and push, uh, push the arrow away with slight pain. While I'm doing a running archery, sometimes I just put the arrow on a string badly like this. It's too low, so the feathers are sliding on my fingers, on my thumb there, and it and it's really painful. I, I don't like it. So it goes like this and whew. So I need gloves and I will show you what kind of gloves I use and how to, you know, a little bit update them to be great for archery. I used to be a floorball goalkeeper. If you don't know sport called floorball, it's something like ice hockey, but with plastic sticks and plastic ball with holes in it. And there are goalkeepers and I used to be goalkeeper. You have a mask, you have all the equipment and you can have gloves because it really hurts. The ball is like 100 kilometers per hour and the plastic ball, when it hits your hand, it's really painful. So I have these, it's from a brand called Salming, which is a professional brand for floorball goalkeepers and players. And this, uh, and this glove is made of leather and there is some sort of cloth or something to make your hand feel comfortable and get your sweat out from the surface of your hand. The only downside is that when you shoot a lot, there is a hole from the arrows. I don't know if you can see that correctly, but there is a big hole. Yeah, now you can see big hole, like the arrows are going through and cutting to the glove. So this is exactly the place what I need to make comfortable and secure against arrows. On the other hand, I update it like this. So I just simply cut it the tips of uh, of index finger and the thumb so I can draw with good feeling so I when I when I when I touch the arrows when I when I grab it I feel in which position the arrow is and I can shoot so I just can grab it and shoot and it's pretty quick as you can see it's very comfortable to shoot very comfortable to use and everything on my hands is in safe my left hand with a glove and the secure place here and my right hand with releasing with the glove right there. But as you can see, these gloves are in pretty bad shape. They are falling apart, so I need to change them. I need to buy a pair of new and I already did. And because these gloves are like, I don't know, 60 euros, it's pretty expensive. So I've been looking for something cheaper and with the same performance and I found this. I was looking for gloves for sport and gloves for biking and gloves for running and gloves for everything and what I found and I believe it's the best solution is gloves for CrossFit. There is a really nice and good feeling leather on the downside. 
The upper side is like some modern material, so it will be very comfortable even, I, even if I get sweat. This little space where the arrow is going through and there's a little bit of a leather so I hope it will last a little longer. Of course, what I will need to do with my right glove is to uh, is to cut the top parts of my index finger and my thumb and we will do it right now. First, before we start, I need to know where to cut so we have to measure where the cut will be going through. And what I know is that I need to cut the glove between the joints between the first and second joint of the uh, index finger and behind, slightly behind the joint of a thumb. So let's do it. So let's make surgery. Yeah, we did it. And second surgery is right there. If you are handy, which I'm not, you can sort of use some knitting or something else to uh, protect the leather and the material from uh, from falling apart. I am not handy, I don't care. These cost something like 20 euros and I'm okay with it. If it survived like three months, I will be happy. Let's make a test if it works. Okay. Yeah, it feels fine. It feels very fine. I make really good cut. It's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm fine, it's comfortable, it's very comfortable, I have good feeling in my hand, so this is fine. What I recommend to you is that the glove should be for sports, so it's from good materials that will help you breathe your hand even if you get sweat, it's very important, you don't want to use something that your hand will be like in water, you still need to have a good control over the bow, over the arrows, so something for sport. I use this CrossFit uh, gloves and I will keep you updated if it works or not or how they long last or did not and I will of course try many more different brands and types but these CrossFit ones looks promising. Like this video, subscribe to the channel because there are many more videos for archers and archers only but not only archers, sometimes you can use the thing I do for crossbow shooting or, or throwing stuff things or whatever but it's archery channel so subscribe because many more archery videos are coming to you and I will see you in next one ciao